the skew transform command allows you to put sort of a slanted kind of skew onto a selection or layer. So here, let me go ahead and jump over to edit, jump down to transform, and we'll choose skew. And once again, we get our same transformation handles that we've had before. And the way this works is if we drag on the corners, you'll see that we can drag this out. Now this is not perfectly following my mouse. We can go horizontally, and we can go vertically, and you can see there's a little bit of a snap there where it jumps between horizontal and vertical. So it's not like you can really move this anywhere you like. You're limited to moving in one of these two dimensions. And you can do this to any of the corners, like if you want to make something like a parallelogram, like so, or trapezoid. I'll go ahead and actually hit escape. Let's jump back down, choose edit, transform, and go back to skew one more time. You can also click on the side handles and do two corners at the same time. Now, it is important to note that when you grab the side handles, you can't move in a direction that is perpendicular to the direction of that side. So if I'm trying to drag up and down, I get nothing, but I can drag parallel to the direction of that side, like so. Now, if I hold down the Alt key, I'm getting the same behavior reflected across the reference point. If I move the reference point and I do that again, Things look like they're following just the same on both sides because, well, technically they are, but you start to get different behavior if you drag from the sides because it is kind of reflecting that using the reference point. So here, while I'm moving this side, you can see the right-hand side is kind of waggling up and down because of the new location of the reference point. So let's go ahead and hit Escape real quick, go back down to Transform, and jump back down to Skew. And really, that's about it. Uh, that's the basics of it. Now. As you can see, if I take this and I start giving some really weird angles to my sides, you'll notice that as I slide my sides around, they are following that direction that I've defined. And it's important to keep that in mind because you can get some really interesting shapes that way just by first changing the angle of a side and then sliding along that side. But that's really about it. It's a very straightforward tool. Admittedly, not one that I find myself using all that often, but if you know for a fact that you just have a shape you need to put a little bit of a slant to and turn it into another specific geometric form, it is a nice one to reach for. So if you're going to do like a, a simple diamond shape out of a square, boom, you're pretty much good to go already. So that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks.